Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new reading vlog here on Book Boop. It is Friday, August the 2nd, and it is 6.30 in the morning. Please ignore the hot mess that is me right now. Um, I woke up at 6, so I've been awake for a little bit, but um, I figured it'd be good to go ahead and start this vlog now before my daughter gets up this morning. I'm hoping to film several vlog clips today, but last night I started on my August TBR and I started um, The Crossroads by Chris Grabenstein. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm loving this so much. It is a middle grade ghost story. And it's that's probably one of my favorite things to read. Um, I love reading paranormal and I love reading ghost stories more than anything. But I really love reading middle grade ghost stories. Because a lot of times when you read paranormal books that are in the YA realm, usually there's a lot of romance stuff that gets in the way it feels like. And I love middle grade because it focuses on the creepiness. It focuses on the ghost story, which I love. And this story is about this haunted crossroads of these two highways and this specific tree is has a benevolent spirit trapped in it or something I don't know I'm not that far into it I'm only about like 60 pages into it something like that and it's a really fast read because it's middle grade but I really like it I like it a lot um the only thing I'm not enjoying about it so far is the fact that it has a tendency to be a little bit choppy between chapters like all of a sudden I'll jump to a different character and it in a different location so it feels a little choppy sometimes but it's trying to give backstories to like these different characters and backstories to the tree and all this stuff so it's it's a little bit choppy I kind of admit sometimes but I'm really liking the story and it's got a nice level of creepiness to it and I like it am I even focused I can't tell I don't know anyway sorry if I'm not um, but anyways it's Friday I don't work today so I'm excited about that. I get to spend the day with my daughter. My husband also gets off work early today because he worked extra on Monday, so that'll be great too. And um, I'm going to do something kind of fun today. It seems fun to me anyways. So I really, really love these Starbucks pink drink so much. It's delicious, but it is also very expensive. Starbucks in general is expensive, but the pink drink is, is pretty pricey. Um, and I've been trying to make a DIY pink drink at home, like trying to make something similar to maybe like stave off the craving of the pink drink without spending so much money. And I tried one already and it just, it wasn't that good. It used the passion fruit tea of Tazo, used that and then some coconut milk and some honey and like dried strawberries, freeze dried strawberries. And it just, it just never turned out right. I kept trying it at different like levels of the ingredients and it just wasn't working right. So I'm trying a different one today. I'm picking up groceries this morning for the whole week and everything, but the ingredients for this I'm picking up as well. And it's super basic. I don't think it's going to necessarily taste overly like the pink drink, but I think it's going to be a lot easier to make and will turn out a lot better. Like I think it'll actually turn out looking like the pink drink because the last pink drink I did didn't even look like the pink drink. It was like this dark really dark pink color or actually more like a light red more than a pink and it just didn't taste very good at all so I'm really hoping this one's going to taste good and I will show you all the ingredients for that and like how it turns out how it tastes all that stuff I'll show you that today and I also picked up um I'm also going to be picking up like this new cappuccino it's like a no it's a latte mix like a powdered latte mix and I, it sounded really good. It has good ratings. So I wanted to try that too because I really like my coffee sweet. I don't drink a whole lot of coffee, but I like those cappuccino and latte powder mixes. They're really tasty. So anyways, all that. But it should be a really fun weekend ahead. I've got some plans this weekend of things to do and hopefully get a lot of reading in. I'm hoping I might actually be able to read this most of this weekend and like get it done maybe because it reads fast. So I, I am excited it's August. I'm excited that it's moving closer toward fall. I'm excited it's my birthday month. And I'm excited to be reading Paranormal all month long because that is my favorite genre by far. I love Paranormal. Ghost stories, yes. Just give me all the ghost stories. I'm so excited. So anyways, I will try to keep you all updated today on my reading as well as just things that are going on today. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a tickle in my throat. Um... It might be hard for me to film today because I don't normally like to try to film around my daughter because at one, I'm not sure I feel comfortable her being in my videos, but then two, she probably won't let me film, <laughs> to be honest. My daughter, when she's awake, 
she wants to be by my side all the time. She doesn't really play by herself yet. We're trying to teach her to do that. Like teach her to like, it's okay for you to go and play without mommy and daddy. Like it's okay. So we're trying to teach her that. But anyways, this has been a long clip. Let's move on. I will get you all updated later, at least on my pink drink recipe trying thing. Hopefully it's good. We'll see. And hopefully I should read more of the crossroads today. So I'm excited to get into some more creepiness. I'll catch you up you all later. All right, everybody. I'm going to try out this pink drink DIY thing. So I got some white crayon strawberry ocean spray, some original coconut milk, and some freeze-dried strawberries, and a glass of ice. I'm going to mix all this stuff together to use half, half and half of the coconut milk and the white crayon. So, you sounded very country when you I'm going to try this out. I'm what? You sounded very country when you opened it. Apparently, my husband says I sound very country. So, it is Tennessee, <laughs> y'all. Okay, I'm going to make this and then I'm going to, I'm going to let you know what it tastes like. Let's do this. All right, y'all. Please excuse the hot mess that is me. I just took a shower. There's Robert. Uh. <laughs> All right, here's the pink drink. I don't know if you can tell, it's like a super, super light pink, which is better than the other one I tried to make because it was like a dark pink, <laughs> maybe more red. So let's try this out and see how it tastes. Hmm, it's pretty good. I think I have too much coconut milk and not enough of the strawberry, crayon strawberry stuff, but That's not how bad, it's getting closer. I might try to add like a little bit more of the cran strawberry just to see. This actually tastes pretty good and it's really easy. It tastes like coconutty like that pink drink does. Hey, it was kind of a success. This is awesome. All right. Hey guys, it is now 7 p.m. on Friday. The kiddo is in bed. It's time to party. <laughs> I have been reading a lot more of Crossroads today. I am at page 138. So I'm making my way. I'm almost halfway through this puppy. It's a really fast read because it's middle grade and I am really loving it. It is super creepy and there's a lot of mystery to it, which is really, really fun. Um, we're kind of like learning the original mystery surrounding this crossroads, surrounding the malevolent spirit that's trapped in this tree that's at the crossroads. We're getting a lot of backstory, but like little snippets of the backstory at a time. So it's really, really fascinating and it's really dark and creepy and like the main malevolent spirit is pure evil <laughs> it's just so creepy um this is one of those books a lot of times sometimes when i read these like ghost story creepy stories that are like for middle grade readers a lot of times they're pretty intense and this one's no exception this one's actually pretty intense it's got some lightheartedness to it but it's it's pretty creepy i'm not gonna lie it's got some really creepy notes to it but i'm loving it it's my favorite kind of book to read. <laughs> it's so fun and I am inhaling it. I'm actually kind of hoping I'll get to finish it this weekend because I'm really excited to finish that up um, and hopefully I may be able to read one more. It's called Graveyard Shift and I'm hoping I can maybe read that one this week too. It's another middle grade kind of creepy story because I'm wanting to read the entirety of the Diviner ser series by Libba Bray. I'm hoping to read that in its entirety as it is now which is three books and they're all pretty big. Um, I have them on my possession to read so hopefully I can get through all of those sorry my husband's getting some ice <laughs> a lot of ice apparently um he's working on a he's brining a chicken right now because we're going to smoke a whole chicken tomorrow which we've done a few weekends ago and it was really delicious so I'm sorry about all the ice maker if you can hear that anyways it's been a good day I'm glad it's the weekend now and it's just been it's been a good day I got a lot done today a lot of chores done a lot of adulting you know but I had a lot of relaxation too and I'm looking forward to just chilling tonight maybe reading some more of the crossroads watching some video gameplay with my husband and just hanging out in bed and trying to stay up later than we normally do which means like staying up to like 9 30. <laughs> We're such old people. Anyways, but there's some fun things we're going to do tomorrow, and I will catch you all up later on that in the morning. Hopefully, I'll do like a little vlog clip early in the morning before my daughter gets up, and I can kind of give you a rundown of what's going on in the morning, because we're going to go run a couple of errands. We're going to meet some friends for lunch and maybe go get some coffee as well. So it's going to be a fun day. 
and I'm hoping to bring you all along. But I hope you all had a lovely Friday as well, and I will catch you all tomorrow. Hey everybody, it is now Saturday, August the 3rd. So I had planned on filming a clip early this morning before my daughter got up, and for once, my husband and I actually slept in accidentally, which is weird. We like never do that. When I say sleep in, I mean 7.30 a.m. <laughs> so I'm just hanging out in my bed right now, um, just filming this quick, quick clip. It's been a busy day so far. We, as soon as we got up, we got ourselves ready and we went out to Goodwill of all places. We went to Goodwill because it's the first Saturday of the month and everything in the store is 50% off. So we went and looked around. Fortunately, I did not find any books. Bummer, but that's okay because I have so many books that I've bought recently and I found a lot of books at Goodwill recently. So I don't need to be finding any more stuff right now. <laughs> but then we also went to Joanne Fabrics for specific reasons. So I wanted to show you guys this. So I created this cross stitch, like you can see it. I created this cross stitch probably a couple years ago and it's got a name for the different Harry Potter books. So it says Stone, Chamber, Prisoner, Goblet, Order, Prince Hallows, and it's got like the different symbols, see if you can see that. Um, but I created that a couple years ago, and for, I've always wanted to make like a little book protective like sleeve case thing, like a book koozie kind of thing. Um, I've really been wanting to make one, but I'm terrified to make it because I'm afraid I'm going to mess up all the hard work I did on my cross knit. But um, a good friend of mine, her mom is an incredible seamstress. She makes some beautiful stuff. She's made some stuff for our book club and everything. And I asked, I was like, would she be willing to make this for me if I got the supplies? And she said, totally, yes. So I went and got supplies for it. I was going to show you guys the supplies I got. Um, so the cross stitch was only going to be the front side of the book sleeve. So for the inside of it, I got just this black fleece and it's really squishy and soft. And then for the back, I'm excited about this. The back is this really pretty, it's like a stained glass look, but it's got all the different houses from Harry Potter. It's got Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, and also has like the, let me see if I can open this a little bit more. So it's got the different houses and everything. Looks really cool. So this will be like the back part of it. So I'm hoping it'll turn out really cool because I've really been wanting some kind of protective book sleeve to be able to put my books in. Because um, there's actually several times where I like put a, just like slip a book into my purse. So I'd love to be able to do that. I don't think I'm in focus. Okay. Um, and then my husband and I, because it's Joanne's and they have like an obscene amount of beautiful fabric there, we found some other stuff they really liked. So we bought some um, flannel. We bought this gorgeous flannel and we made a blanket out of it. Um, just bought two yards and then I just created a fringe on the edge. Now like it's this big beautiful blanket. And oh, I also got this fabric to make a scarf out of. So I bought a yard of fabric and I ended up making two scarves out of it. So and I just did fringe on this too. And it's just this beautiful like fall color. Can you tell I'm ready for fall? I'm really ready for fall. So anyways, exciting stuff I know so I got all that stuff at Joann's and there's some good sales and stuff but I'm really excited about that little book sleeve um hopefully we'll I'll get to have it made this month um because her uh, my friend's mom's going to be in town like mid-August so she's going to be able to make it then so I'm really excited about it I think it's going to be cool um on the reading front so I'm still working on the crossroads I am probably about 60 percent through it so I'm 60 or 70 percent I'm quite a ways through it and I'm loving it. I'm actually really hoping to finish this this weekend if I can, but it is, it is so good and so creepy. I'm loving the creepiness. The mystery of it's really picking up. It's really cool. And not to have like any spoilers, but there's a, one of the main character, I, characters I think is going to have an interesting twist. And I think I know what the twist is going to be. So I'm interested to see if what I'm guessing is what's going to happen because I kind of could see it coming from the very beginning. And I'm trying to, I'm waiting. I think it's going to, we're going to find out soon if it's the thing I think is going to happen, it's going to happen. But anyways, the main, this book is actually really creepy. Even though it's middle grade, it really is. It's disturbing in a lot of parts, but I actually kind of love it. <laughs> it's what I love about, I think I, I can't remember if I said this in the last clip, but this is what I love about reading paranormal books in middle grade because they don't usually, they don't get messed up with like a whole bunch of romance and stuff like that. Like it's really focused on the ghost and the story and that's what I really like about these. So, so good, loving it. I'm really, hopefully I should be able to read some more today. I haven't gotten to read any today, but we just got home recently. We met some friends for lunch and then went to a coffee shop after that and I drank only half a coffee and felt so buzzed. I don't drink a whole lot of caffeine normally, so I was, it 
you really hit me. So, but the rest of the day, we've got a chicken smoking outside right now. I made some pasta salad and we're gonna eat that. And then um, tonight we're going to watch, um, oh, what's the name of the movie? Descendants, we're gonna watch the new Descendants movie, Descendants 3. So we're gonna watch that tonight <laughs> because we are Disney Channel nerds like that. So we're gonna watch that tonight and that'll be fun. Um, the movies really aren't that great, but it's they're just kind of fun to watch and kind of funny. And our daughter is gonna watch it with us, which will be really cool. For the first time she's seen a Descendants movie, so it'll be fun. And then we'll just kind of chill. And then I gotta go to bed and get up really early in the morning for church slash work because um, I'm playing violin tomorrow. So I gotta be, get there real early. But anyways, that's today. It's been a fun day, and I mean, it's always a good day if you get to go fabric shopping, right? <laughs> I can get lost in Joanne's. They have so much gorgeous fabric there. Um, they even had, like, they have so much Harry Potter fabric. They got fleece and cotton, and they even had the Marauder's Matte print, but it was, like, stretchy, and I was like, oh, I want to make PJ pants out of these. I want some Marauder's Matte PJ pants. They were beautiful. Anyways, I'm going to stop blathering now and go take a shower because right now my husband's upstairs with my daughter playing Disney Infinity. And mainly she just keeps killing her character over and over and over because she can't play video games yet. So it's kind of funny. Anyways, I'm going to stop blathering now. I don't know if I'll give you all another update today or not. But I will update you all tomorrow and I should be able to do some reading tonight, hopefully. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Catch you up later. Hey everyone, it is now Sunday, August the 4th. I am exhausted. <laughs> it's been a very busy day so far. I played for violin at my church all morning. I was there from starting at 7 a.m. for rehearsal until about 12.30 and I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. It's exhausting playing violin all morning like that, but it's a lot of fun and I love it. Um, and I just finished recording my August TBR video, which we'll be posting tomorrow. I'm um, just kind of, I'm usually not that behind on filming videos and like filming it the day before I put it out, but I've just been a little bit behind on that. Hence, I'm next to my bookshelf here. I kind of turned the camera at least a little bit so it looked like one of my normal videos. Um, but yeah, but now after I'm all done doing that video, I'm going to finish kind of like posting it and doing the thumbnail and all that. And then I'll get to kind of chill and relax for a little bit. I wanted to give you all a reading update too. So I finished this last night. I ended up blitzing it and finished it. And you guys, I loved this book. I loved it so much. Um, a little bit of a spoiler. I don't know if I should tell you this or not, but I gave it five stars. I really, really enjoyed it a lot. Um, I'm such a sucker for like middle grade ghost stories because I love just how much they focus on the ghost story at hand. There's no like romance and stuff that gums it up like in YA and that's why I really love reading middle grade ghost stories so much. They just it just focuses on the creepiness. It just focuses on the ghost part which I love but it was such a good book. It was so good. It was it had a really just crazy creepy ending. Um, oh and the last clip that I I mentioned that one of the characters, I think, I was kind of guessing some, some kind of like big reveal there's going to be with one of the characters, which I was actually right. That didn't ruin it for me, though, but I was, it was actually more fun to be like, oh, that's what I thought was going to happen. Hmm. So this is fun. It was such a fun read. This is, this is honestly probably one of my favorite ghost stories I've read. It was a blast. So I'm really, I really liked it a lot. I may try to, I may put that book, um, I may put this book on my like Amazon wish list or whatever that I, I kind of have like a running wish list I keep for like my family and stuff. So that suggestions for like my birthday and Christmas and stuff like that. I might put this on there because I would like to own this. This was good. And I also, I looked up the author, Chris Grabenstein, and apparently he has um, this is like underneath his Haunted Mystery series and he's got like three more books. I don't think they're connected. Like I don't think it's about the same characters or anything. Um, but he's got three more like ghost stories. So I added those to my TBR and Goodreads so I would remember those and I'm going to look for those because it was really great. I really want to read more of his work. Um, he's ri written some other stuff as well. I think he's written some adult works and everything. I don't know if they're necessarily ghost stories or anything like that. But um, yeah, it was it was good. It was a lot of fun. It's a great start to my August TBR. Great start just jumping into paranormal. So it's been good. Um, and I can't believe I've already finished a book. It's only the 4th of August. I've already finished a book on my TBR. What? That's nuts. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you really quick the book I'm going to pick up next. Um, I'm going to be buddy reading. Um, the Diviners 
by Libra Bray. I'm going to be buddy reading this with um, a fellow booktuber. And she's not wanting to start that until next week. I'm going to be buddy reading it with Kaylin over at Kaylin Abridged. Um, and I can link her channel down below. She's incredible and I absolutely adore her. And I'm really excited to do a buddy read with her. Because um, it's going to be the first buddy read I've ever done ever. And then it's just going to be really cool to do it with Kaylin. Um, because she's she seems like a really incredible person. I'm looking forward to getting to know her better and hoping we can kind of become friends. Um, but anyways, since she's not gonna start, she's gonna start it, I think, next week, second week of August. So I've got time to read another book, I think, before we're gonna jump into the diviners. So I'm gonna read one more middle grade, and I'm gonna read Graveyard Shift by Chris Westwood. And this book follows um, this kid who lives in London and he kind of stumbles into this graveyard in London and um, he ends up getting recruited for the Ministry of Pandemonium and this ministry hunts down spirits and helps them on to the afterlife and I think there's another ministry or whatever that's wanting to use those spirits for like evil reasons um, so those ministries kind of battled out and this kid gets trapped kind of between this whole battle and everything. But it looks like it's really cool. I kind of, I picked this one up on a whim um, as a discount book and just because it looks really cool and I love middle grade and I love ghost story type stuff and just, I mean, a London cemetery. Yeah, sounds, it sounds good to me. You got me already. I didn't need to hear, you need to hear much more than that. So I think I'm going to jump into that today. Maybe if I have time to read, hopefully I will. But I also just really want to relax the rest of today. I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. Um, there's actually some stuff going on at my church tonight. Like, and I just, I mean, I feel bad, but I'm going to stay home because I'm just, I'm exhausted. I'm just feeling really tired today and I just want to recover. <laughs> I just want to recover. So anyways, I'm going to probably go take a nap and maybe try to read a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm going to film another clip today. I might, if I start, if I start Graveyard Shift and I want to say something about it, I might film one more clip today. But it's been a good day. It's been a full day. It's been a great weekend. It really has. It's been a fun weekend, but I'm tired. But tomorrow's Monday. I gotta get back into another work week. And it's kind of the last moderately chill work week until the insanity of fall semester begins. And it's going to be crazy from now until Christmas. <laughs> so... Look forward to that. It's going to be good. But anyway, I just wanted to give you all an update about The Crossroads and how good it was. So if you like ghost stories, give that one a chance. It's worth it. It's really good. All right. Well, this may be the end of my blog, so I'm going to say goodbye if it is the end of my blog. I'm not sure if it is or not, but if it is and it happens to be, then thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I hope this was a relatively entertaining vlog. Um, I feel like it's been more entertaining than some of my past ones. Um, I've actually filmed like two other vlogs that I didn't post at all <laughs> before this one. Um, it just, I don't know. I just haven't been happy with the vlogs and, I've, and then I was just behind on like trying to make sure they get edited to post them in time. Because I feel like, I feel like if you wait too long to post a vlog, it's just not relevant anymore. That makes sense. At least like the books you talk about in it aren't as relevant because you've already moved on far from that and... I don't know. I just felt like they weren't relevant enough anymore. So I'm just going to post this one. And I felt like this one was one more entertaining anyways. But I'm going to stop blathering now. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you in another video. Unless I see you in another clip right after this. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> Bye.